Sometimes amazing things come in unexpected packages. If you're a traveler like myself, you've undoubtedly learned this lesson more than a few times. One of the most inspiring things about travel is that moment, that moment when you're caught completely off guard in the best way possible. Maybe it's a hole in the wall restaurant that totally blows away your expectations or a random side trip that ends up becoming the highlight of your entire vacation. It's these organic moments that create some of the best travel memories. Now, those in the note will tell you that if you plan any given trip too much, these kinds of things just don't happen. The best way to have genuine and authentic experiences is to find a strange and careful balance between preparation and the total lack thereof. It is a tricky line to ride, but if you pull it off, you end up in some outrageously cool places. Places like Georgetown. I'm not sure I've ever been as surprised by a destination as I was by Georgetown. This wonderfully funky city sits on the island of Penang, just off Malaysia's northwest coast. Though the entire island is chock full of amazing stuff to see and do, and we fully intend to return here as soon as possible, we spent our three days focusing mainly on Georgetown itself, wandering the streets and getting lost in its unique and diverse culture. The main thing that strikes you about this place is a pervasive feeling of cultural pride. The care taken in the preservation of the city is inspiring. Now, Malaysia spent some years as a British colony in the 19th century, but once independence was gained, the locals here chose to preserve this piece of their history instead of painting over it. What results is a fascinating tapestry of architecture that spans centuries and continents. The juxtaposition with the tropical surroundings makes for a street-level feel that is truly unique. This attitude of cultural preservation is at its most obvious when wandering through some of Georgetown's most famous areas. First and foremost of these are the clan jetties. Originally created as rudimentary settlements for Chinese dock workers, these strange and wonderful stilted neighborhoods jut out from the city's main coastal road. Today, there are six jetties in total, each named for the clans or families who built them originally. Several of them are very tourist-friendly, featuring beautiful shrines and long stretches of trinket shops along their ancient wooden walkways. Others are more reserved and quiet, and still function as residential living space for the descendants of the clans of years past. Visitors are welcome in most areas, but as always, be respectful of anyone who doesn't want their life put on display. But the jetties are an intriguing and unique example of the sense of heritage here. While many other cities would have at various times considered them hazardous or unnecessary, here they've been lovingly tended to, maintained and modernized. It's a perfect metaphor for the feeling of the city as a whole. For anyone making their way into the heart of Georgetown, you're in store for another unique cultural treat. Besides the fact that many of the facades and buildings from this city's past still stand in all their vintage splendor, you'll notice that some more modern artistic adornments have started appearing in recent years. Sometimes quaint, sometimes strange, always beautiful, Georgetown has something of a love affair with street art. It all began when, in 2012, the Municipal Council of Penang hired Lithuanian artist Ernest Zakarevic to lend his unique style to some of the city's aging walls and alleyways. What started as a simple set of murals quickly became a defining attraction and an intrinsic part of the local culture. Zakarevic's works are now some of the most famous spots in Georgetown and have inspired a huge wave of other artists to add their own flair all over town. There's numerous walks that will guide you around to the coolest pieces, but we definitely had our favorites. Number one, Art Lane. It's an organic, semi-open gallery walk down a psychedelic alleyway full of strange and often provocative images. And just around the corner is Armenian Street, home to one of the most famous images in the city, Zakarevic's piece, Little Children on a Bicycle. Do be warned, this latter spot has become quite the tourist trap. But all of the art has one thing in common. It is not your typical inner city graffiti, not by a long shot. It's the work of true artists, placed oh so carefully so as to not disturb the integrity or appearance of the structures themselves. It's a further testament to the local pride for Georgetown's rich history and heritage. 
Now, turning our attention to the edible side of things, if you've seen our film on Kuala Lumpur, you'll know that we hold Malaysian cuisine in the highest of regards, and Georgetown is no exception. Even though it's smaller and more out of the way than KL is, the food here is every bit as diverse and delicious. If you're a fan of Indian cuisine, head into Little India, a bustling neighborhood in the heart of Georgetown. There's all kinds of cool shopping and strolling to be had here, but the restaurants are the main attraction. If you want a seriously authentic experience, check out Tali and our sweets. As their name implies, the specialty here is the Tali, a sort of sampler platter of a wide variety of traditional Indian dishes served alongside naan bread, roti, and basmati rice. But Indian food is certainly not the only thing on offer in Georgetown. Food courts, also commonly known as hawker centers, are a common sight around the city, and they offer perhaps the best opportunity for sampling any of the amazing regional cuisines that have come to call Penang home. Our favorite spot was the Jetty Food Court, which had an amazingly diverse set of stalls and pop-ups offering foods from all over Asia. And that's not even mentioning the countless other restaurants around town, each offering up their own amazing selections. Suffice to say, if you like eating, you'll feel right at home. When we were first booking our trip through Malaysia, we knew that we needed to see more than just Kuala Lumpur. And while that city will always occupy a very special place in my heart, there's obviously more to this amazing country than just its capital city. And as we researched potential other destinations, one name kept appearing above all others. Georgetown. And instead of trying to plan out every minute of our time here, we decided to leave things a bit more open-ended. And I'm so glad we did. For a place that's relatively unknown in the West, we discovered so much to see and do here, it's almost comical. Beyond the jetties, the delicious food, the unique neighborhoods, there are also amazing temples here, like Keklok Si. It's the largest Buddhist monastery in all of Malaysia. There's also tea fields, nature walks, amazing beaches, and about a thousand other things that we didn't even have time to see. All of this makes this city's relative obscurity to Western travelers all the more surprising. But that's the amazing thing about a place like Georgetown. It's a perfect example of that unexpected delight, that place that caught you off guard and took your breath away. History, creativity, pride, diversity, it's all here. And it's all just waiting for you to come and discover it. <laughs> 